uh, we got somebody out the front window with a pair of binoculars and a uh, zoom lens. We're trying to get a pretty good idea on this thing. And we copy that. It's Houston, Atlanta. Go ahead. Terry, we're in the process of uh, taking pictures with the 400. We've got uh, several other pictures as well, but the best view we got was through the uh, binoculars. And um, the best way I can describe it is uh, there's some kind of um, reflective uh, cloth or um, with uh, some a metallic looking type of cloth uh, of a structure that's uh, definitely not rigid or uh, it's not a, um, a you know solid metal structure. It also has a uh, ground, some type of grounding strap coming off of it, a, uh, a copper line, uh, what appears to be a grounding strap. Doesn't look like anything I've ever seen on the uh, outside of the shuttle, uh, that's for sure. Okay, copy, that helps, thanks. We actually can't see it anymore, Brent. Okay, it started over uh, window eight, uh, then quickly uh, moved towards the nose of the orbiter, um, and we tracked it through windows uh, one, two, three, four, and uh, now it's out sort of out window five. It's moving away. The fo last focal length we had was uh, well over a uh, hundred feet and opening. Okay, copy that. This is Mission Control Houston with uh, Atlantis Commander Brent Jett talking with astronaut Terry Burtz here in Mission Control about an object the crew members noted outside the windows of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Uh, Jet describing it as some kind of a reflective or metallic looking cloth, but definitely not a rigid or, or metal object. Seen uh, moving away from the space shuttle at least 100 feet, in his words. The crew also uh, took digital still photos that will be downlinked to Mission Control. This is Mission Control Houston now with a mission elapsed time of 10 days, 20 hours, and 21 minutes. This view of uh, the Space Shuttle Atlantis looking at the robotic uh, arm operations with the shuttle robotic arm attached to the orbiter boom sensor system to continue uh, inspections of Atlantis to ensure that it is in good shape for landing tomorrow.
a you know solid metal structure. It also has a uh, ground, some type of grounding strap coming off of it, a, uh, a copper line, uh, what appears to be a grounding strap. Doesn't look like anything I've ever seen on the uh, outside of the shuttle, uh, that's for sure. Okay, copy, that helps, thanks. 